Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to episode 5 of How to Cook Prince of Scott and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Ah. Oh, fuck. I want to turn my head, my neck so damn bad that I can't. It fucking hurts. <laughs> this is the worst fucking. Hey, oh my god. Are you Hello, puppy. Right, it's a really good question. Because he possibly like you know, it's a possibility. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could just go out and straight up ask him.
The tree? You never know until you try. So cute. What's wrong? What? Uh, oh. He's cute. Ow. <laughs> oh my god, I hate myself right now. It hurts.
okay. Okay. <laughs> that was weird for a moment. Nice cut, though. But still, that kind of felt a little too easy. They may you say that, but Leading and messed up. My fucking heart, Jesus Christ. Excuse me?
Yeah. Just a little jokester. But Teddy, how can you be so sure about that? There's always good in everyone, even if they're bad. Oh my god, <laughs> my dog. <laughs> I had a feeling we would have seen that again this episode. Mm, okay, makes sense. So then she'll find out how Hanako got killed. Well, and other things too. Oh, it might even see how to whoever she ends up with. Why else would she say anything like that, you know? The black. Mm -hmm. But the red books? Why would I? Oh. 
Cody. Got some questions. I mean, okay. So the red books, you you must absolutely, no matter what, read them. Why? What's so specific? I can't even speak right now. Specific and questionable about the red books. If the black books are about how people are who are dead, and the white books are about people who are alive, are the red books about the seven wonders of the school? Maybe. I mean, who knows? Like. I, Y'all know who wrote the damn manga. I don't know ish. Oh my god. <laughs> my neck But okay. The, like, the Hanukkah that just came up today. I don't know. I'm a little questionable about that one right there. If that's truly Hanukkah or if that's somebody else dressed as Hanukkah. Who knows? There could be some, a ghost, a seven wonder who can, you know, look like somebody else. I'm just saying. I don't know. But, I mean, we all know Nene's going to go. Nene's going to go and she's going to find out stuff about Teru and Hanako. Because she cares for both of them. But, oh my god, like, Hanako, you you led Nene on. Like, oh my god. Okay, but yeah, he led her on, and like he made poor baby cry. I mean, he's so freaking precious and adorable as hell, and it's just like, oh my god, like no, you were so mean. Oh my god, but like him just taking his hat off, like walking up to her, holding her hand, grabbing it, and like not letting her go, and apologizing, like oh my god, like the fact is that this is Makoto Nayagi's and fucking Nayagi's voice actor, like I can't sometimes because it's just. You just want to take Nene out, and you want to put Kitty Kitty in, and how he had a good and I can't, because it's just too many feels. He's just so freaking cute. He's a little trickster, a little shit sometimes, but I still love him. He's so freaking adorable. Oh my god, like, it's just, mm. I just have so many questions about him, and I hope whatever it is that we find out next week, it's really good, because ever since we started this dang show, I want to know more about this child, and what all happened in his life leading up to his death and then, you know, way before he met Nene, like, how he was sitting in a, in a bathroom by himself for so many freaking years until, you know, Nene came around. It's like that. But now knowing that Ko and Teru, yes, they are brothers, and yes, they're um both supposed to defeat the Seven Wonders no matter what, and Ko is more a little forgiving on operations while you know Teddy seems like he's not so I have like the biggest question is what is the backstory on them will we ever get something especially for Teddy why he is the way he is and while I mean at the beginning Ko was very almost a little cold like his brother but now he's a little more condescending he understands Hanako he seems like Hanako is a nice person and that he shouldn't really want to have Hanako move on to the next life but I mean it's it's so many freaking questions with the show, and it's so little answers. So maybe, hopefully, by next Thursday, we kind of get our answer. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards episode 5 of Toilet Bound Hanako Kun. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I'll see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode 6. Bye, guys. Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to...